In this video, we'll balance the equation for FeOH3 plus H2SO4. Let's count the atoms up. We have one Fe, and then we have three applies to the whole OH here. So we have three times the one oxygen, three oxygens. Let's leave these till a bit later. Three times the one hydrogen, three hydrogens, and these two here. So we have five hydrogen atoms. And then I'll use a bit of a trick here to help us balance. This SO4, it's called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion and it stays together in this chemical reaction. We have SO4 here and we have three of them here. So I'm gonna count it as just one item. So I have one sulfate ion. On the product side, I have two irons, oxygens, just the one here, hydrogens, two, and then the sulfate, I have three sulfate ions. Put a three right here. Why don't we just start right off and balance the iron atoms? So if we put a two here, one times two, that would give us two iron atoms. Those are balanced. Then we need to update our hydrogens and our oxygens. So for oxygens, we have three times one, that's three times the two, six oxygens. Hydrogens, we have three times one times two, six, plus we have the two here. So we have eight hydrogens. Okay, well, we have the irons fixed. Let's leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. Let's do the sulfate. We have three of these sulfate ions, SO4, here and one here. So we'll put a three in front of the H2SO4. Let's update the hydrogens. We have three times one, three times two, that's our six, plus we have the two times three, six, so now we have 12 hydrogens, but we have the one sulfate times the three. That'll give us three sulfates. So now the irons, the sulfates, those are fine. It looks like if we were to put a six in front of the H2O, that might do it. So for the hydrogens, two times six, that gives us 12. And then one times six for the oxygens, that gives us six and we're done. This equation is balanced. The trick is if you have a polyatomic ion on both sides of the equation, count it as one thing. It makes it a lot easier and it makes it more obvious what you need to change. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron 3 hydroxide plus sulfuric acid, and thanks for watching.